Grab your pickaxe and take a seat, my crafters. It's time for guests, games, interviews, and more. Welcome to Mind TV. The day of the week is irrelevant because Toby keeps interrupting the introduction. And we are on Mind TV episode, what is this, six now? Seven? Uh, seven, I believe. He was just a little excited, I think. I'm almost lost track. Can yeah. you guys hear me? Um, With your... Am I on? <laughs> Hello? With your host, Sasha Varel, Markillian Starzy, David, and some other British guy. And today's guest, uh, we'll be introducing in a little bit, not just yet, although anybody who could see the stage over there on the right probably already has an idea of who we've got today. So, did you know there's going to be an update for my, uh, Minecraft on the Xbox soon? That's there amazing. There is, and I'm looking on that exact page now, in the hope oh. that someone will ask me so that I can appear knowledgeable. Alright, then I'm going to ask you, what is it, David? Uh, well, I'm Toby. I think so, that was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> points no, for you're, that you're, set. You're, no, you're David now. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm David part two. Um, <laughs> well, I, I mean, from, from the look of it, I think there's going to be Endermen, Silverfish, and Mineshafts. I mean, that's what the pictures are, and that's all I'm going on at the moment. So, hooray! There's also the video that Daniel Kaplan uploaded. Yeah, no, that's up here as well, but I didn't want to seem too obtrusive with the whole audio thing, so I didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't know if you, might, you guys might get it as well. We didn't have oh, enough yeah. of that uh, to begin with. No more feedback. Please. Are they uh, are they still following like the normal PC updates, or are they doing like their own thing? It's, they're Xbox. sort of doing a bit of their own thing, to be honest with you, aren't they? They're, there's not everything coming in exactly the same order, and they sk they're skipping um, a few, I think, after the next update. Um, so it's not going completely sequentially. Although but I don't it's near think... enough. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it's, it seems uh, like a uh, kind of half and half. Really. It's been. I don't think there's anything been uh, added to Xbox that hasn't been in the PC one. Correct me if I'm wrong with that, but I think that it's following it in the way that there's nothing in the Xbox that's not been implemented into the PC yet. Yeah, but they're just taking it at their own order depending on how they feel they can add it. Yeah. I wonder if they are going to end up adding like unique Xbox things. That'll be kind no. of interesting. Well, I mean, we've already seen unique Xbox skins in that like they've designed some specific skin sets for the Xbox, haven't they? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the only real like separate change apart from the entire control system and the creative menu, I suppose. Yeah, that's one thing I really want to see in like the uh, the PC version, that creative menu. Not well, the the crafting menu. I mean, is um, yeah, I think that'll be a great addition. Because I love what um, you know, the creative menu and stuff that's already been implemented. It's the ease, yeah, ease of access and being able to search for stuff and not having to faff around a seven yeah. million years. Especially if so many separate small items have been added in like recent weeks. Yeah, um, this, I mean the search thing, I mean I don't think, I could have believed they didn't do that before. It's just yeah, so easy. Yeah, it made sense. And it took dinner bone like a day. Yeah. It made sense. And it took dinner bone like a day. Yeah. Feedback! Massive feedback for the win! Hooray! <laughs> Yeah. Incredible. Of course, the that other thing the, is... Well, that was the studio's new feature, the echo chamber. We were yeah. testing it. <laughs> you don't get this on the BBC, I'll tell yeah. you that for nothing. All, All right. right. Much of any other chat. Somebody who just echoes everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's the, there's the other big news, is the threadless, I guess. The um, the competition, the threadless uh, love oh, t-shirt. Oh, the t-shirt one, yeah. Yeah, it's great. I've uh, got no artistic talent. I've got about as, as much artistic <laughs> talent as a brick to the head. You've been <laughs> you've been sending me ideas like, <laughs> like crazy, but that's you've that's got no ability to carry them through. So. No, they are but a dream. <sighs> she sure. <laughs> so you know, I think uh, Tog's watching the show. Assuming that's the actual Tog. Hello, Tog. I believe I see him in the stream chat. How you doing, man? Everybody watch. Wave. What's going on? Wave. Yeah, Sasha. no, there he is. Hello. Mr. Tog, nice to see you. And thank you, the fluffy chair. Although I gotta tell you, broadcasting is not nearly as entertaining as video games. I mean, there's nothing to be said for getting to sit around and play Minecraft all day, and that's what pays your bills. That's awesome. It really is. Um... Speaking of awesome, there's something way more awesome going on on the show today than anything I can talk about. Uh, 
And that is the guy who came up with the very popular mod computer craft. His name is Dan200, and he's, I think, hiding behind the green screen over there, or that's somebody else outside. Now, where is Dan? Where did you go? You still into the stage, Dan? I think... I think we're going to have to get him. We may have to get him. Oh, dear. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's wandering around the surface tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so, um, uh, hello. Oh, hello, Dan. Hey, how you doing, man? Hello, where do I sit? Uh, anyway. wherever you want. Or how do I sit? Uh, shift, Crouch. right click. Yeah. Oh, what go. a future as well. Is it? I know the chairs aren't terribly cushioned, but you know, we do what we can when we have the budget. Awesome. So, for the people who may not be familiar with it, although I can't imagine who at this point that would be, can you tell them a little bit about basically what computer craft is? Right. Computercraft is a mod for Minecraft that lets you build build computers out of stone and redstone and do computer programming in Minecraft and use actual programming like a real computer language to control the stuff in your world. So you, so you can have really advanced automated systems to do stuff and it works really well with other mods. And it's so no, it's kind of awesome. Not even that. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the computers are programmed in Lua, aren't they? Mm, yeah, it's the uh, Lua programming language, mm -hmm. which is a yeah. really easy language, and just people have used the mod to do things I wouldn't imagine. It's just really awesome stuff. Well, that's what I like about Lua. I think it's one of those languages that it's friendly enough that if somebody took the time to learn it a little bit, they can do so much without uh, a whole lot of uh, technical know-how or background. It doesn't take long to learn how to you know, operate it. It's really nice. Yeah. I like that and the computers don't take, you know, eighty million dollars worth of resources to put together. <laughs> yeah, they're stuff. pretty simple. So, very nice. Cool yeah. deal. I'd have to say though, uh, not even just kind of the computers, which we could talk about for hours, one of the bigger draws of the computer craft mod are the turtles. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the turtles are we had computers and computers were awesome, but then it was thought what if computers could move about and could build stuff for you and could dig stuff for you. And that ended robots. up with the turtles. And yeah, the turtles are basically robots. They have computers that can move around and you can program them to go and do stuff for you. And they can basically do everything the player can do. So, so, so you can make turtles to mine for you, turtles to build houses for you, turtles to do farming for you, turtles to sort all your resources for you. And it's, and it's all really basic programming based on a really simple set of commands. So but can it with, blend? with the right thinking, you can do whatever you want. Um, no, they can't blend. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, they blend creepers, I guess, the, the attack turtle would, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, they can kill things, which is an important part of Minecraft. They can mine, they can craft, they can build, and they can blow up creepers. So. <laughs> and they can also uh, hold a microphone for you, looking at this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for anybody watching the stream, that particular microphone is a diamond sword, so it does look a little strange. But the turtle is helping uh, Mark talk there. It serves many roles. Wow, he's a special, um, so completely innocuous studio turtle that's not going to kill anyone later at all. No, not at all. Why would you do that? <laughs> yes, and turtles can move, and obviously the obvi most obvious expression of movement is <laughs> dancing. Which is what this turtle here wow. is doing. I think that's my favorite turtle feature. <laughs> he has got the waltz down to a science. Look at that little guy. See, you need to put some fuel in him so he can really stretch his legs. Oh, so what's uh, the fuel? Uh, the fuel is just coal. Let me just do that for you. Yeah, as Mark was showing you there, uh, the turtle does have an interface right in the turtle so you don't have to like, guess at what you're doing. It's a very nice, clean interface, easy to operate. Preparing to get down. It has this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Da, 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 da. So yeah, so the computers in Minecraft can almost do everything that your real computer can can do. So you can build computers, but you can also build modems, so they can wirelessly network with each other, and you can have like a real like internet, like a a, a world wide web within your Minecraft server. And you can also build disk drives and disks, so you can copy files between computers and give them to people and keep your programs in your chest and all that kind of stuff. So if we have like a redstone powered internet, can I make an alias and troll people in Minecraft with it? 
Uh, yeah, uh, people have have made in-game chat rooms. People have made <laughs> sort of in-game web servers. People have. There's an optional feature to allow your Minecraft computers to connect to the real internet. So people have used that to make real IRC clients and stuff. Oh goodness! Wow. So basically, you can create the real world in Minecraft. Is that is that, is that what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> as long as your real world only involves sitting on a computer and doing things, which it probably does. I don't know. It probably I'd say that's probably most of us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's a fairly accurate description. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's no love or joy or emotion or anything, but there's, there's good deterministic computing. Yes. It's pretty neat. So what, is emo- what is this emotion? What emotion? <laughs> this this it's never, movement? Never, never heard of that before. It's Everyone a knows bug. the British have emotions. <laughs> It's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> We're it's a glitch in the 2. system. <laughs> so how hard would it be to like set up simple like chatting with two uh, computers? Is that something well, that takes like a bunch of code or? So if you want a computer to send a message to another computer, I could do that for you on the stage now. Oh, if you wanted nice. a, a nice user-friendly chat program, that would take take a bit of work, but. The cool thing is that lots of people have already done that work. So if you go to the computer craft forums, there's a whole list of programs that people have made. So there's 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 dozens of them. And there's this whole community of people just share the programs they make. So even if you can't program, so you can just go on the forums and find some programs you want and download them and put them on on your computers and then you'll have all this stuff in game. It's pretty spiffy. Cool. I've gotten a question on Twitter. Somebody said yeah. that there was rumors that computer craft um, will have different languages. Is it true? Uh, different programming languages. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, we're need- sticking to Lua because it's really easy. Um, it would really complicate things to have multiple programming languages on, on the turtles. and It would be a lot of work for me, and Lua's quite nice. I can only imagine the syntax conflicts with various languages. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it would have all the complexity of a real computer. Like, real computers are really powerful, but most people who use real, real computers don't do much programming on them. That's what programmers do. That's not what, user, what, what usual users do. And that's because there are so many layers on a modern computer between you and programming. But these are more like the computer that you would have got 25 years ago, like the Spectrum and stuff, where mm-hmm. programming is just part of basic use. And little kids would learn to program just on their computers because that was how you got stuff done and I like that simplicity of having yeah. maintaining that sort of stuff and I that's actually some... been replicated in real life Life now lots of people have contacted me saying they've used computer craft to teach their kids how to program which is awesome uh-huh. that's pretty cool yeah it reminds me a lot of when I was younger I had a computer that, I mean granted it was running like some old ass version of basic but well you know uh, you are ancient so. hey your mom <laughs> and <laughs> but yeah, it was a similar setup because it was an easy language to learn and pick up. It was a really good place to start with that kind of thing. And yeah, uh, Lua definitely uh, follows in, in step with that. And I like that a lot. That yeah, awesome. I was just sitting there thinking, man, if you had C on there and Visual Basic on there and Lua, I mean, all three of them see different characters differently. You know, I mean, C sees a semicolon, BB sees an apostrophe, so on and so on. It's, you almost wouldn't be able to program anything if there were so many compilers in one place. Yeah, and Visual Basic, you. Hey, <laughs> it was new when I was young. Ages and ages ago, back in well, the stone. Well, I, I, yeah, I, actually, my first language was Visual Basic, but that's not something <laughs> I want to admit. <laughs> I don't think many people would. So, um, looking at the creative menu, then, uh, you know, you've been through the turtles, then. Um, well, explain the wireless modem. Does that work in the same way as a normal wireless modem, or is there any sort of, you know, how do you get that to work. Yeah, basically, right. So so if you have a computer with a modem, then that computer can send a message to any other computer that's listening to messages within 64 meters of it. Right. So if I put this computer here and a modem and this computer here that also has a modem and you can also get turtles that have modems on, then okay. this can send a message from this uh, from one from one to the other, and then so you could 
use it to say a remote control mining setup. So you've got one control room that can that sends messages to all your turtles, and your turtles respond to that by mining things. Okay. All that kind of. Thing. So it's like See. it's really See. basic. You send a message from here to there, but that's all you yeah. need to build the whole internet. So that that then is the sort of. Uh, you, you, that you, that's used to build your control room and to you know control whatever you want with that. Yes, exactly. Okay. Another a common question. question. Go ahead. Sorry, go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say another question is the uh, what's the difference between the different you know you've got your normal turtles, your wireless turtles, and your crafty turtles. What do the crafty turtles do? Yes, the uh, crafty turtles are like quite new. They fill a gap in the turtles' capabilities, which was they they could mine. But they couldn't craft, right. but this is Minecraft, so they have to be able to craft. So now you can make crafty turtles, and they can craft things. So you could have a completely automated setup of turtles mi mining resources, sorting the resources, and crafting other turtles if you wanted to. Self-replicating machines. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's that's terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not long until they get back himself. in time. These Return turtles it. really like to dance on this server. <laughs> Turn one loose and go back to time and try and kill Kyle. Yeah, really. <laughs> turn one mighty crafting turtle loose long enough, and eventually your world's down to bedrock, and there's just an army of them everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so a common question we're getting is when is Computer Craft going to be updated, and can you give us a sneak peek at some future features? Okay, updated <laughs> hopefully soon. I've been too slow on it because I have to rewrite a bunch of stuff, but hopefully I won't disappoint people for too much longer on that. Like, it's in beta, people are testing it, but there's just a few difficult bugs that have held, held, held us up a bit. One of the reasons it has taken longer than it is, is is because there are a couple of awesome new bug features. One of them is uh, a new a, a new block, which is a printer. So cool. hmm. computers That's can great. take paper and ink and write printed messages on them. A bit like books. But of course, it's controlled by a computer, so you could have like automated printing presses and stuff. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. And it can print print in different colors. Ooh. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose that could be used then to sort of print back to your control room when you've run out of I don't know area to to mine or something like that. I guess. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's why I doing, think. Yeah. So an idea I had was you could like use it to print off like the logs of who's been in your house or. Print yeah. off a like a like a receipt when you buy something from a shop, that sort of thing. Cool. Pretty cool. Oh, or just make like a an in-game book publisher where you write a story and you print out lots of copies and give them out to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I guess with uh, one three two in particular, you might be able to have it uh, mass produce those uh, those writable books. Yes, that's that that that's part of the plan for you to be able to make books out of them. That is really nice. I can't show this off here today, but... <laughs> I'm just sitting here imagining <laughs> all the novels you can mass produce. <laughs> Those steamy, steamy novels, huh? And <laughs> <laughs> well, the like a Gutenberg Bible, obviously. Fifty <laughs> Shades yeah, of yeah. Craft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Thanks for voicing it, Toby. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone was thinking it. <laughs> a wild Palhamar has appeared in our Twitch chat. Oh, oh, dear. oh no! Not him again! Don't blow up the that chat now. Oh. I already see the server starting to smoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's crying. Some of the TNT blocks over there whimpering. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's where's the Palhamar? Oh, oh, he's in, in, the, uh, in the Twitch chat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There's like loads of people that I recognize in this audience. Hey oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of people in the Twitch chat saying that they're actually beta testing um, the upcoming version, so looks like yeah, you have I, a lot of friends. Yeah, I might have sort of self self publicized a bit because I wanted people who actually knew what computer craft was to be here. That's the <laughs> idea, yeah. Yeah. Well that's okay. fine. I mean. Right, I should shout out to this man who I'm throwing a snowball at. Who's that? The man that looks like a computer. Yep, yeah, that that would be like a cloudy. The uh, my uh, sort of quite a while co-developer now, who originally did the monitors, which I haven't even mentioned. Monitors are awesome. Oh, I had some in my inventory here. Uh, are yeah. those the giant screens? Oh, yeah. yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. Monitors are good. They allow you to make 
giant screens and connect your computer to them and then you can print big messages in the world and people have used that to do all kinds of fun things. Scoreboard. Tickers. Yeah. Scoreboards are really so how, right. how big can you make this? Let's just sit back and watch the game. Big <laughs> six by eight. Okay, I am being yelled at in chat. Everybody wants to know what age did you learn how to code? <laughs> hmm. Um I mean in like like I work for a software company so I know loads of other programmers and most of them seem to start ridiculously young, but I was only like fifteen. And like I know people who've started at like seven and stuff. So, so, not very impressive. what's something awesome you could do on uh, this monitor here? Well, I was gonna write, write, write. Just one second, I'll write something, and you can talk while I do this. Uh, Toby's over here defiling the screen again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's added uh, speakers to it. Mm. Hey, that makes the screen. Come on, it looks like you're in a cinema now. Come on, guys, audience. I'm gonna go sit in the audience with the audience people yeah. and watch TV with them. They're cool. Don't bring popcorn. David smells. I'm sitting in the audience. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> David is just blocking everyone else's view. <laughs> That's fine. No one minds. Send all your complaints to Sasha Varel. <laughs> co. Mindtv. Dot com. <laughs> Forward slash don't really. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wait, I'm in the audience. When do I get free stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, down in front. Who wants a rose? Yeah, really. Yeah, I know you want a rose. TOC's blocking me. Bean. Look at my mas a masterpiece. There you go. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. That is a big display. That's okay. pretty awesome. So is, there a, is there a specific okay. command to send it to the larger display monitors, or is it just the usual print output? It's... So a computer... Yeah, a monitor and a disk drive and a modem mm -hmm. and the future printers, they're all called peripherals, which are external devices to the computer. So and there's an API for, for interacting with any peripheral, and with the monitor ones, you can write to the monitor, but you can still write to your own screen as well. It's like an ex external display. Right. Wait, and let me show you the thing that everyone loves about about these. I've got these, these monitors. Can you watch live TV on them? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Oh my goodness. It'd be amazing. Uh, Hello. Whoa. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. Right, this needs to be a bit bigger. A bit <laughs> gonna need a Quick, bigger more screen. monitors. There's a, there's a, it's a, been a period of ace ships. <laughs> oh, wait, I've got creative mode. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I don't. I did earlier. No, you should still. You're, do, you're, you're doing it the wrong uh, way, Toby. Do slash. Well, here. Oh, the chairs uh, kind of break creative. You yeah, just have to switch, switch into and out of it. That is crazy. There you go, look at that. That is awesome. Shunk. <laughs> I don't know why this hasn't... Oh, wait, wait, that? wait look, that? this is... So this is, um, it's a thing that's been existent for a while, but not on computer craft, and I just ported it to, to, to computer craft. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. <laughs> Wait, I've got an idea. See, now you just need that, and you need someone to make a note block symphony of whatever film you're playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, there it goes. Uh, Netherrack wants to know if you're going to Minecon. Um, like, I would like to, because it's in Paris and I'm in England, so, like, I'd only have to get on a like like the Eurostar. Yeah. I basically I'd need some people to go to uh to go with. Like some cool people. 
Oh, we're quite cool. You can come with us. Yeah, they're, they're not that cool. Don't worry. Well, I <laughs> might actually take you up on that. But, um... We're less American than the Americans. Oh, whatever. Like, it, 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 exactly. See, if I went without cool people, it would just be children and Americans. So... <laughs> yeah. You really I'm, do I'm, need some cool people who I'm done here. Americans. Totally done here. Terrible. Okay. <laughs> I must ask this question because I am intrigued at its silliness. Somebody just tweeted me, ask Dan, does the blue cow that eats cheese live over 100 years because of the leprechaun in Dublin? 42. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I yes. was actually thinking that. Thank you. Oh, what a man. <laughs> Automatic winner. Right. What, what have you done to this computer? Oh, reboot. Defiled. Violated. T turn it on and off. And on and off. <laughs> I tell you what, even putting a high audience on it certainly beats having a million and one signposts plastered to your wall. Yeah, <laughs> definitely does. That's just amazing. By a long shot. Can you imagine the applications you could have, like a scrolling rule board on a server with this, among other things. Hmm. Well, yeah. like somebody did did a few weeks ago when the when the Olympics were on. Somebody made a program that would download the Olympic score table from like <laughs> DC and wow. play it live in the server, so you can see like, really who nice. was, like who was winning. That's, That's amazing. Impressive. Yeah, That's... yeah. Just people make so much awesome stuff. Like, but I'm a big ego surf like like surfer. I search for computer craft on YouTube far too often. And every day, it's like someone has made something new, or made like a new tutorial or something. So, it's all pointed out that the text seems larger than normal on the screen. Um, I don't know if it's so much that it's larger, or just scaled up. It's yeah, it's got five size settings, so you can make really big text if you want. Oh, okay. Awesome. Very cool. So, what is the uh, the link to the forums or your forums with uh, all the cool programs and stuff on it? Uh, one second. Are you We're going to advertise the ever living K pop out of it. Yeah, well, the way to do it is to do it in style. <laughs> oh dear. I think I know what he's doing. Yeah. So, no, Mark, you're cheating. Uh, you can't do that. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't say anything. Does um, Pahima have a question? A mod to mod question, maybe. <laughs> or would the universe explode? Oh, what? I didn't reboot the. <laughs> it's Pahima. Everything explodes. He does love his explosions, yeah. Alright, my website is www.computercraft.info slash forums. And now you have it. There you it's go. It's promotion on the tool you're promoting. Yeah. <laughs> Meta. Computerception. It is. With many liked turtles in. Oh yeah, the the like the forums are really awesome because obviously, this isn't the it it's not the simplest mod to pick up and play. A lot of people need need help the first time that they play it, but mm -hmm. loads of people go on there and post tutorials. And there's just help forums where people help, help, help each other out. And there's the IRC where people ask each other questions. And it's like the forums are really supportive for each other. And they make lo loads, of awful, loads of awesome programs and, and share them. Someone thinks because of the links on the show now that the bandwidth of your site's going to get exceeded again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened before, but we got a better web host now, so fingers crossed. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Are I you hosting it? Are you hosting it on your in-game computers now? <laughs> well, is that is that how things run? <laughs> that would so, be freaky. So I'm going to say yes because that's funnier than. <laughs> yeah, yeah, better. It's better than 42 in this instance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost at a loss. That it's just amazing all the stuff it can do. Yeah. So. This is a question from Twitter. What's the weirdest thing you've seen created with computer craft? Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, somebody made the the the, the Nyan cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
That's um, pretty awesome. That's like like they awesome. like they like I put it on a giant monitor and it was like so all in ASCII art, but they'd done their own animations. Oh wow, money! It's raining goodies. See, I wish I could just take these to the server I normally play on and be like, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> Money's. A flower for the ladies, which there aren't any in the audience. Ah. <laughs> yeah, ladies don't program. That 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 isn't actually true. Or, or <laughs> exist on the internet. Oh jeez, here I'm we go. Off, ladies. Do you want to take this outside? <laughs> yeah, <please. laughs> well, Sorry, who was man. having trouble installing the mod earlier? Absolutely, was not me. Yeah. Okay, well then. She didn't even then. attempt it. I had to freaking. <laughs> well, if I don't attempt, for all it, of you, fail, for all correct? of you. I don't even yeah. want to hear it. You too, David. She'll bite your ankles, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> like you have much room to talk, short shit. Hey, man. Hey. I'm on my stilts. I'm tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on your stilts. That we had That's to right. buy you so you can reach yeah. the kitchen sink. By the way, my TV audience, no. we had to buy Satch some stilts. So don't let him pick on me for how short I am. Yeah, we got Not him. Just any stilts. You gotta tell him what kind. Yeah, we we got him little green. No, I'm sorry, little no, purple, purple cups. Purple. The bucket ones. Yeah, the yeah, little purple out. cups with the string that you hold on to. <laughs> it's amazing. They know they're see they're trying to kill me because most of the floor in my house is tile, <laughs> and they know how dangerous that is. So just imagine Satch slipping around his house on the tile with his little purple cups. You just <laughs> see purple that cups. That was with not butter. in our plan at all. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh. You specifically asked, "Hey, do you have really slick, dangerous tile in your home?" Because <laughs> we've got this great idea. <laughs> we were like purple buckets. We want the purple bucket stilts with non-slip. No, no, we don't want those. They're on the slippiest <laughs> edition safe. we've got. So they were like forty cents more. Why wow, would we? The low look... friction edition. <laughs> these look like roller blades, but they are in fact just stilts. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> these stilts may appear to be dangerous on tile, but that's only because they are. <laughs> it's only because they're lethal. <laughs> Dangerous so doesn't do the justice. Dan, forgive my ignorance, okay, but with the floppy Hi. disk, I notice you can use it in like with a disk drive. Can you then like take programs off of a computer onto a floppy? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly what the uh, floppy disk is is the core. Like right. um, so you put disk drive drive drives down. You connect your computer to them, and then you can put floppy disks in. So in the drive. And copy files so off of the computer, and then just just carry them around, and then put them back on your other computer, or copy them and copy them and put put them, put them on lots of computers. So and you can give your floppy disk names, so you can see what they are when you mouse over them. Yeah, that's I, like that's what I do. Like like on a server, I I I keep my most precious like I keep a backup of my most precious programs on a floppy disk that I carry on me at all times and put another one in the <laughs> chest that no one knows knows where it is. And... <laughs> That's awesome. That's Safekeeping, stupid. yeah. I remember That's when funny. I was doing the, the, the mod spotlight for this uh, mod for Computer Craft, and uh, yeah, I had a bunch of disks on the side, some that didn't really have working programs that I was embarrassed about and never showed anybody, and <laughs> a few that did that I demonstrated. They're really simple, you know, uh, primitive programs, but nonetheless, it was nice to be able to swap them in and out as necessary. Mm, yeah. Like so, so like they were part of the, they were definitely part of the original sort of vision for like the mod. Mm -hmm. Like the original idea was like computers, disks, and the internet, and then like the uh, turtles came in a bit later. Like and they added a whole new level. That's. I love I love the conglomeration of different eras of computer technology that you've got. You've got yeah, it, a, it, it, a it, simple DOS type interface, just sit commands and, 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 a, and one language, and then you've got a floppy disk, and then the entire internet and wireless technology. Well, it, it's basically the 1980s, <laughs> but with better robots. Better like, internet too. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, the, the like the like a turtles. The the reason they're called turtle is because they're named after a set of a like a brand of robots, like commercial toy robot that you can buy that existed in the 80s and was used to teach people computer programming. Like so, you would take them them to schools and they had this really simple command set of 
go forwards, turn right, go forwards again, go backwards. Right. I remember draw. those, actually. Yeah, yeah, and the turtles are based on those. Oh, good grief. And yeah, they, it was all uh, internal, but yeah. They, they like, basically got the same command set. And because of that, because that was a very good command set, that's why it's really easy to make good programs with like a turtles. I mean, it doesn't sound intuitive, but um, but programming turtles is easier than programming computers. Yeah, yeah like 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 to do because because you can do complicated, impressive things in not very much line, lines of code. Sure, sure. Like building a house is like a twenty-line program. That is really awesome. So this all this all makes me think of like instantly of like Minecraft Edu kind of initiative like, you know, kids wanting to, or teachers wanting to use stuff. I could easily see people wanting to use this to actually teach their kids, you know, programming within a friendly interface that is Minecraft. You know what I mean? There's like a third wall. What kind of makes me want to do well, is actually. Uh, well, I'll like drop an email to the Minecraft teacher to see if maybe he wouldn't have an interest in doing that with this mod. Yeah, well, exactly. That yeah, like so I've had had lots of emails from people who have used it either to teach themselves if they're like very young, or to teach their kids how to learn 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 like a programming. But there is actually there's a guy on YouTube called Nitrogen Fingers who is awesome. He he makes some um, really good computer craft videos where he kind of shows the real potential of, of what can be done. But he works or used to work for a university in in Adelaide, and he showed it off to to some of the, of the professors there, and they've ended up using it in their introduction to programming course. In a, in wow. a school. That that must give you the warm fuzzies. That's oh, awesome. Oh, absolutely. That's my favorite thing about the mod. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so yeah, and I would love for that kind of thing to get the exposure that um, the Minecraft Edgy stuff does. Like, I've tried reaching out to that guy a few times, haven't heard much from it, but yeah, try and drop him a line for you if you like. Awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'll see if I can't get him in contact with you. That'd be really awesome. Yeah, but you the should future's definitely bright into... with computer craft. <laughs> And I ran into a Minecraft teacher, Joel of Minecon, last year in 2011, and um, it turns out he's taller than me, like most people in the world. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Doesn't take much. No, he was a really nice guy, though. It was, it was nice to talk to him again. Um, I can't remember the actual question, but I think it was, is there ever going to be a plan to put in colored text uh, into the computer terminals? Um, or s any type of highlighting for syntax. See, it it would be really easy to do. I basically done the code for it because I had to do colored printing for the printers. Right. But just personally, aesthetically, I really like the black and white look. But maybe one day I'll be convinced, and it so it'll be like a the computer craft computer two now with color. <laughs> Oops. What have we done with this server? Uh, what's, what's going on? I keep telling it to make walls. <laughs> oh, wow. It's certainly making walls. Uh, what is it with you making a wall, Sat? I always like building a wall between us, Toby. Mm. You always like building a wall just so that Pahimah can come along and destroy it. <laughs> He'll find Wait, a wall. Wait, where is Pahimah? <laughs> I don't know. Pahimah, are, are you in the game? Know For everyone is. asking, by the way, uh, it's, it's probably a bit late, but to get into the game, you need Computer Craft and you need Minecraft 1.2.5 version. I know there's been a lot of questions asking. Yeah, why that's the, my fault for not updating it. But I will. I will update. Like As long as I stop wasting my time going on silly internet TV shows, I'll get done programming. Hey, <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Yeah, get out. Go and go, go and go and keyboard jockey some more, Dan. <laughs> hey, we're the best low-budget second-class show there is, man. <laughs> First in many third world countries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Places I've never heard of any other programming. We are the best. Kazakhstan rates us number one entertainment show. <laughs> Rolling Sorry. Stone said, huh? <laughs> Get out of my office. <laughs> what are you doing at my window? 
MTV rates MTV <laughs> one out of five stars. Well, there you go. Still retire the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Windsor. <laughs> Windsor. <laughs> oh, snap, son. Winsock 2 said, can you politely tell Dan to mention the peripheral cables? I don't know what he means by that, but uh, can you politely mention the so peripheral like, cables? So like, who asked that? That was a guy called Winsock 2. Okay, In, uh, well yeah, um... Wait, can I just quickly turn off Minecraft music? Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's oh, right, like, right, 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 like, yeah, um... <laughs> there's... There are several peripherals in computer crafts, like the disk drive and the, the monitor and the modems. But I also, I like in a few versions ago, I added an API so other mod developers could make their own peripherals for the computers. So people have made several, but there's a mod called CC Sensors that adds a bunch of peripherals for sensing things in the world. There's uh, the mod that the Wintox talk, 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 talking about called peripheral cables that adds a kind of a cabling system to the mod. So people have added other things to the mod beyond, like like other hardware to the mod beyond the stuff that I originally added, which is cool. And and some of them, like like the monitor, has ended up being part of Computercraft itself. I see. Hmm. Did that make sense? Yeah. Where? Yep. Where <laughs> He's here somewhere. Yeah, here he is. Silent, whatever uh, people are explaining, I'm like absorbing all that information. Yes, plot with it, plan with it. Ah. Silent, so you're eating away at all your bandwidth, downloading the mod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of ways to ruin uh, Killian Detention Center with Computer Craft. Oh, we are not putting oh, Computer Craft on geez. Killian. Calm down. <laughs> Alright, yes. so somebody is really, really wanting me to ask their question. They say. I have heard that CC is a security risk because Lua runs outside of the JVM. Is this true? Um, it doesn't run outside outside the the like a JVM, and as far as I'm aware, it's not a computer. It's not a security risk. Like, I think that's no, that's nonsense. I was gonna say yeah, that should all be internally contained. I don't know why that would be a threat mm, anyway. Like yeah, which yeah. is why I hadn't asked the question, but they were yelling at me in chat. So. <laughs> So it runs in a completely sandboxed environment. A, a computer in Computercraft can only access the computer in Computercraft. It can't access your real computer. No. Maybe before people start trying to download other people's Computercraft programs. However, <laughs> so it can look at do this. Oh, okay, that was supposed to kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Shame. So much it's, for that. It's not a proper Mind TV episode unless someone gets killed or something gets blown up. Yeah. Yeah, let's just yeah, do it by But hand. that really wasn't the punchline I was hoping on. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I think, to be honest with you, with all the impressive things we've seen in your mod so far, you don't really need a punchline. Yeah, but I wanted to kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, See, he does, that was what, a point. What, what self respecting British person doesn't want to kill everyone? Okay. Oh, here we go. Xenophobe. Heretic. <laughs> British. <laughs> so I guess we're on... The, so does anyone else have questions and stuff? Or is that what we're doing now? This is where chat goes crazy, probably. Yeah, yeah. I hear that three seconds. And, and yeah, I'm just giving it a So, so I, I mean, think... it's like, I've seen a few like late-night chat shows in my time, but they don't usually involve constructing big things on the stage and then people randomly throwing stuff at each other and walking around <laughs> the stage all night. Usually there's, there's like an interview and then some adverts and then a song. Oh, so maybe maybe we should. Um, maybe there should be more of that. Yeah, I think you guys maybe. should sing a song. Musical guest. <laughs> Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, actually I can make like awesome computer music. Really, uh, These guys have never heard of uh, Monty yeah. Python before, Dan. Um, Winsock says he apologizes for putting you on the spot. That's all right. He does that sometimes. <laughs> He's not a very nice person. Shun Winsock. Shame. <laughs> Netherrack has another question. Um, if Dan Two Hundred didn't invent computer craft, what other mod would he have made instead? Do you have any ideas about any other mods that you would have? Oh made? yes, definitely. Um. 
I would really like that. Yeah, there's two things I would really like to make if I had just another million hours of free time. Like, I'd really like like to make a mod about space travel. I'd like to kind of take to take the programming thing and put that inside a space rocket and have you have to do um, programming for a spaceship and then eventually fly to other planets and land on and land in different worlds and mine resources and make spaceship fuel and go to other places. But that would take more hours than I have. So I'm also, oh, I really like to see like a really good like physical mechanical mod with like cogs and gears and shafts and levers and really like industrial clockwork stuff. That's, that's uh, sounds like a pretty good mod actually. Yeah, I would play that. So one question that I've seen asked a lot is, um, what would you like, or what would be like your one thing that you would love to see in vanilla Minecraft, or added to vanilla Minecraft? Who? Um, Forge. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. That would definitely make life uh, a lot easier. Maybe they should add computer crap to vanilla. Yes. It's a lot easier than uh, managing redstone. What do you I don't think most people would like that. Like, you say that, but yeah, Mark does make so a good I mean, point. Computer it's easier to. Like, it, it applies to a. It appeals to a specific audience. And it's grown quite large, but. Not everyone likes automation. I mean, lo lots and lots of people don't even use like use use redstone. For lots of people, Minecraft is just about killing monsters. For lots of people, it's about it, it's exploring. For lots of people, it's just about building giant castles. Not everyone wants wants to automate things. And the turtles can do all that stuff for you. Yes, they can. Yeah. But some people are artists, and some have emotions and stuff. And do you want to build a castle, but real life keeps getting in the way? Homework calls, parents won't leave you alone, telling you to take out the trash or go outside or talk to people. Forget all that. Get a turtle and build your castle anyway. Is that your little uh, advert there? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what is outside? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so this is outside you speak of. That was the advert. All we need now is a song. A proper song, Toby. Toby. Dave is British, it's not his fault. Get turtle crap today. <laughs> turtle <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh, now there's, there's a must I'd love to see. To be and an idiot. <laughs> mean. <laughs> mean. Just reskin all of the turtles as actual turtles. Oh, jeez. I like their little robot y look. It's, it's kind yeah, of charmed. Yeah, I like it. They remind me somewhat. See, you should implement them with voices. Oh, then they'd be like the uh, turrets from Portal. Or like <laughs> Oh wait, I don't have my sound still on. still there? I am different. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, who's doing that? That's a rather beautiful jukebox. Not jukebox, a uh, boombox. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, somebody was... I think Toby's over here breaking things again. I'm not. I haven't touched a thing. <laughs> not with that redstone clock you built under the stage, no. That wasn't me, that was David. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly. Mm -hmm. Mostly. I kind of want to work out why my kill everyone program didn't work. I I well, was... they, um, yeah, they're, they all have, like, god mode because of the region. <sighs> Boring. I know, it's terrible. You <laughs> could still blow them up, though. So, oh yeah, definitely. Do you have any like hey, I mining just had an idea. exploding turtles? What? He could just fill oh. the turtle with TNT and build a wall with it. That is something turtles are quite good at. There you go. Ooh. Wow. I like where this thread is going. Yeah. I like that. So this episode is going to take some heavy editing, right? Because it's gone off the rails a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what we do. Y you think? You think? <laughs> It's, good. it's rebelling. Yeah, Toby's it's fine. currently changing the studio to everything. One thing I would like to say, and that isn't a question, uh, was said by Netherrack. I don't have a question, but can you tell Dan200 that he's an amazing mod maker and that we love him? Question mark. 
Yes, we can. We love him, question mark? We love him? <laughs> Upward inflection? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, it should be mentioned too with the turtles. I'm not sure if all of them have it, but I know the miners do. Are completely impervious to liquids, uh, lava included. Uh, yeah, they are because I couldn't. It's really it, handy, though. I think. Yeah, um, it, it's handy. Like it just stops them getting stuck when you're trying to build big automated things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It also has its uses if you have a turtle that's automatically mining under you know under the surface and they don't get stopped by underground pools or what have you. Yeah. Right. Uh, Satch? Awesome! What's up? Come over here. Hmm? Watch the turtle. Let me give you this. Oh god, let's go. It's... Oh. Oh, is it actually priming them as it goes? Of course. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. Mark, you suck. Oh, Wait, on. where did the turtle go? I guess it blew itself up. <laughs> We're not friends anymore, Mark. You missed Oh, that's what it point. gets. It's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. There's a pig on stage. Oh. Of course, going? thanks to creative mode, I have another one of that exact turtle with that exact program. Yes! There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, let's do it. I need some more TNT. Oops. Like, uh, like, I can never find TNT in the inventory. Oh no, oh, you you Toby, what have you done? I only give it needs one. like a whole stack. Oh! That's pretty standard for the course. <laughs> well, it's great that you've all joined us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeez. Not yet. We still have half a studio left. Yeah, come on. <laughs> There's loads so much of it left. There's still my okay. pistons in the background to destroy. Oh. Oh. May I just ask, who blew me up? Probably. Oh, thank you, Bard, you know what the best part is? He also blew up a camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good, Good job. job. Thanks for that. You're fine. Uh, well, you know, I just... Collect your things and leave the office by noon. Yeah. Or we'll have this fine, security escort on. you out. And I'm taking this out with... I just had the same idea. <laughs> God. That is amazing. This is how every episode seems to end since uh, Pahimar came on. Yeah, he devastated the studio with the Cobalt Exchange one time, and we've, we've done this ever since. Oh, God, I fell. And then there goes the turtle, quietly <laughs> bombing the K-Pog of everywhere. That is amazing. <laughs> I love, we're chaotically exploding everything, and the turtle's just doing its own little thing. Like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oops. Well, there's only one way to celebrate this. By dancing. <laughs> dance, turtle, dance! There is only one dance, the Robo Boogie, and the Robot. Well, he can't there? dance when he's dead. And there goes the other camera. Okay, who <laughs> killed me again? <laughs> oh, this is just getting out of hand. Yeah, oh, this man. definitely Holy. doesn't happen on like a Jay Leno. <laughs> it should, shouldn't it? It, it mean, should. I think it should. It happens a lot on top. It would be a years. weekly show, because Jay would get blown up and... They'd have to rebuild every week. We can build a level. Surely they can just roll back. <laughs> Surely. Roll what back? What's that? <laughs> what is this right. roll back? Right. Any more questions from the deserted ruins of the studio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the swimming the audience. Um, there's the thing. There's um, the photo booth is still kind of intact. Yeah, let's oh, keep good. that That's somewhat so intact. So there you go. You can fix the bits that aren't, Toby. Yeah, no. I'm... Somebody Hold in chat has then. asked a very fair question. Why are parts of the studio still standing? I didn't... I didn't hear that because of all the explosions. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the question? I think Somebody the wants fair... to know why there are parts of the studio still standing. Um, because of just human decency. <laughs> I think I think the only fair thing to do is to, to make the whole like fill the whole thing with TNT while the other while uh, they're getting cameras while they're getting pictures taken. Yeah, we'll do that. So when the uh, the pictures are finished, then we can blow the whole place sky high. So Dan, would you be up for uh, taking some pictures with your very loving fans? 
Um, sure. Yeah, you that's need fine. To stop blowing stuff up. She makes ambience. Oh, actually, I was setting up something in this room before the show, so I might just quickly finish that. I even notice I've I've modified the room slightly. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna build some steps so people can get out, or I'll teleport everybody. All right, since we're the photo portion of our show, I think it's safe to say we can wrap it up there. So, anybody who's not on the studio set right now can, of course, join us at the IP listed somewhere. Somewhere. And <laughs> someone list the IP. Someone somewhere. It's there it goes. Okay. It is there you in go. Twitch chat right now. You're going to see it before you. Right, that wasn't me. And uh, this concludes, for the time being, episode 37,295 of Mind TV with our special guest, Dan 200, creator of ComputerCraft. Uh, if you want to hang out and take pictures with Dan, be sure to join the server while he's still here. We're not sure how long he's hanging around. It is late in the UK, and we are not going to keep him any longer. We absolutely have to. Poor guy. And, of course, be sure to join us next week. It will probably be a slightly different time, but we will let you know in advance when that will be, because it's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on Mind TV. I am Dan 200. And I'm also Starzy, I'm Mark Killian, and David and Toby. <laughs> <laughs> and I those other no five people are also Sasha Bell. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> Sash has a range of voices, and in fact, we are all him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably keep the, uh, the stream running for a little bit longer if you guys want to watch Dan take some pictures and us finish destroying the rest of the studio. But the audio will be cut out. So make sure to join the server if you want to... Uh, hang out, take some pictures, and uh, chat. Thanks everyone for joining us. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.